Congratulations, Nuno. How Where are you? did that feel in the end? Where are you? Where are you? We're up here. Ah, uh, here, look. I can see you now. How are you doing? Good? I'm very well. How are you after all of that? It was tough, wasn't it? It was tough. It was tough. It was, tough. It was a tough game. Very difficult game. Uh, tough game. Tough game. Ask me. Um, how did you feel during that? Because I know you're immensely proud of the character that your team shows from time to time. And they did it again tonight. Yeah, they did it. They did it. Uh, but... Uh, we had too many problems. We, we suffer today. We suffer Olympiacos. We started well the game, but after Olympiacos controlled the game, and they were better than us in the second half. They made us suffer. And Rui was huge today. He was massive with our with that moment that the saves that he made. We had a moment to kill the game. We didn't do, did, did so, and until the end was about suffering. Uh, the moment that Olympiacos started putting balls in the box, um, it's about uh, defending, controlling the box in the boot. Well, um, it was a tough, was tough. I cannot, you know, cannot forget there were players in the pitch that were uh, making a real effort to, to hold on to the end. Um, we, we made three stops. We can, make, we can make more subs. So it was about staying in the pitch and, and holding on to it, what you have. You know, you said that they, they were better in the second half, but you made uh, substitutions. You brought on uh, Diogo Jota and, and Dendonka. Uh, definitely. Yeah give you more of a foothold in the, in, the, in the bitch and you've seen that we actually started controlling the ball a little bit more for that yeah. very fact. What the, that was the idea to control the, the middle of the park with one extra, extra body there with Leander to give us this energy. I think we did it, did it but at the same time um, Olympiacos with the high, wide areas one touch and cross one touch and cross um, was difficult but um, better after Leander came, came to the team uh, we were better organized, we, we pressed a little bit better and we, we, we had the chance to, to kill the game based on our, on our pressing. Uh, Diogo didn't do it, uh, but this is options. This is, I think we have to be versatile, versatile enough to, to read and try to, to help the team in these moments. No, no, we've got Dave Edwards with us tonight as well, who was with you at the very start of the journey, Dave, and you've seen what this team has gone on to achieve. You're so impressed, I know you are. Yeah, nice to see you, boss, and great to see you doing so well. It was, um, say, not, not the best performance tonight, but you saw the other side of walls where you were resilient, hard to beat, bodies on the line, and, and that just shows what togetherness you've got in this spot at the moment. Yeah, you know what it's all about. Sometimes, if you cannot play good, let's defend well. Let's, let's throw your bodies in, in front of the, of the ball. Like, hey, you, Rui was, was huge, but you know how it is football. Sometimes... You play good and you don't achieve things. Sometimes you don't play so good and, yeah, and, and now you are enjoyable. But our job is to, to look at it. And it was a long season. It's been a long season. And I told the boys, let's have holidays, but just yeah, let's go. Let's keep on going. Uh, yeah, 58 games. You've been going for well over a calendar year. I mean, the, and given what's everything that's happened, and you and I had a big conversation, didn't we, before the restart of the Premier League, where you spoke very movingly about everything that had happened in that gap since playing Olympiacos. So to kind of come back and, and still be on this journey right now, what does it mean to you and the group, Nuno? It means a lot. It means a lot. Uh, it, means, it means a lot for the people that help. Uh, the medical staff has been tremendous. The help that they give us, how, how they look at how they take care of us. Um, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a family. It's a family here. So I'm very proud. I'm very proud. And we started with Crusaders more than a season ago, more than a year ago. Um, and we go now to the last eight. Let's enjoy it. Let's enjoy it. And it makes ourselves proud. The fans, uh, we miss them. And we ask for them uh, humbly. We ask for their support because these boys really deserve it. It's incredible what they're, what they're doing. Uh, well, yeah, the representative of the fans is Steve Bull, who is with us on the line as well. Bully, what would you say to Nuno on behalf of Wolves fans everywhere? Well, you know, I mean, all I can say is uh, keep doing what you're doing. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, I'm in a position as, as like every other Wolves fan saying, you hear these rumours, Nuno's going in, Nuno's going to... You don't need to go anywhere, Nuno. This is a great club. You know what I mean? It's a family club, like you just said, so stick where you are and keep doing what you're doing. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. See you soon, eh? See you in Germany. 